this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been talking about resource pages and how it would be a great thing to have for your site, uh, what it can do for you. We've also done a video showing you some examples of some resource uh, pages. And this will get you some ideas and things as to what you might want to do with yours and how to create yours. And now we're going to go into actually creating the page itself. So we're going to go ahead and you can actually right here, you can add a new page here. And we're going to start a new page for resource page. And uh, as it pops up here, you can see, uh, one thing I'm going to do is I want you to pay attention over here. It says page attributes. A lot of themes will give you some templates that you can choose. Not all themes do. And one of them may be uh, one that will say like one column or a no sidebar or something like that. And if you use one of those, then you're not going to have sidebars on your page, which I think would be good for a resource page not to have them. And um, with Weaver 2, some of you are using this and following along, um, the older Weaver versions also have the templates that have the one column and the no sidebars. Weaver 2 has you go ahead and hide them here. I'm going to go ahead and hide the page title. People have already clicked on it know what it is. Uh, and I'm going to hide the hider image just so that it's got more space. I'm going to leave, not hide the whole thing. I want the navigation bar to be up there, the primary menu, the navigation bar, because I want people to be able to uh, find it, uh, to go back to the home page and things like that. But I'm just trying to get more space here. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to hide the footer area. And I'm hiding the widgets so the widgets are not showing up. I'm keeping the uh, top widget area on there. It's one that takes people to go sign up for the uh, tutorials, something I want them to do. So I'm going to leave them there. That by itself is a resource. So we're leaving it there. And if you scroll along the bottom, I'm not going to allow comments on it, and I'm not going to allow track backs and pinbacks on it. This is just a resource page, so it's standalone. Uh, it's not going to have comments and things on it. And from there, you also want to give it a name and then name it. You could name it resource page, or you can use some keywords in it. Um, like um, one we saw was named magnetic headlines because it was a resource page for magnetic headlines. And so you could title it uh, for a specific topic. Maybe the resource page for each one of your categories, and then you're putting your top posts from that category on there. And that's one thing you can do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and continue on here. Here I've got what I call WordPress resources, and you can see that uh, that's also what I have here for the URL. This is the, uh, the slug part, and uh, you want to go ahead and have what you want there now. You don't want to go back and change the URL later. You could change the headlines and things, but this one, once you get that link out and the people sharing it, you don't really want to go back and change it. You can redirect it if you really have to. That's a possibility, but it's still good to get it right to start with. Okay, as you can see, I have some of these where we have headlines and some drop down menus. Excuse me, that's not drop down menu, but I mean bullet points. Here is what it's looking like so far. And people can scroll through and they look at what section they're looking at, and then they can click on the links. I've not made these links yet, I've not told a little bit about them here yet. Uh, I'll be adding that as I continue to run out the page. I wanted to show you how to go ahead and get those uh, headlines. Yours won't necessarily show up orange. It depends on how your theme is set up. But if you go up here on the format here and give it like a heading 2, then it will show up like that. Or if instead of doing headings, if you want to do bold them, you can bold them like that. I'm actually going to bold uh, the, the links that I'm going to click on so it will show up even more. I'm not bolding the... Uh, each of these subtitles. Okay, let's get the bullet points really quick here. Um, just go ahead up here, click on that, and I can put something like uh, by a domain. And then if I just hit enter after that, it'll give me a new bullet point for the next one. Hit hosting. And then I'll just link each of these using the links. You can go back and look it up and add some information. Have fun with this.